All right, BFit Nation. Welcome back to another BFit Live programmed workouts. All right, team. <clears throat> Here today, we have a special resistance based workout for you. All right, team. Uh, just to follow up with last week's cardio based workouts, today we are focusing on our form, focusing on our strength, focusing on specific movements to target specific muscle groups that are available to us <clears throat> as we get started. All right, team. So, <clears throat> with that, Let's go ahead and find our workout space, find our space that we have available, find any resistance that you may have available. I'm gonna grab a pair of dumbbells for us today. Again, we have a full body workout uh, that's gonna help challenge us for today. Again, week two, celebrating Heart Health Month with an active body. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and find that workout space team. All right, grab that towel, grab that water. Uh, if you're new to our BFIT Live program workouts, this is a chance for us to really find our active uh, strength here, all right? This is the time for us to focus on ourselves with a little bit of strength and resistance training team, okay? Uh, leave us a note in the Facebook comments below. Let us know where you're joining from. Let us know where you're watching from. Let us know where you're engaging from with us as well, all right, team? I have my screen up as well, so if you have any questions or any comments, go ahead and, go ahead and leave them in the comments below, all right, team? But for the workout for today, we have <clears throat> four movements that we're gonna hit. We have four rounds. We have 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, one minute rest in between each round and four of those rounds. Once again, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four rounds with one minute rest in between each of those rounds. All right, I'll go ahead and demonstrate each of those movements. Then we'll go ahead and get into some dynamic stretching to really prime our bodies, warm up our bodies, get ourselves ready to work, and then we'll jump into the workout team. All right, again, leave us a note in the comments below and let us know where you're joining from. All right, team. So with that, go ahead and grab that dumbbell. Grab that attention here because we're going to go through some demonstrations on our movements for today. All right. Uh, if you have any, uh, go ahead and take away any questions, um, any coaching cues, go ahead and take those away from me as well. And then we will get started with that feed. All right. So let's go ahead and grab a pair of dumbbells here because we're going to get started with movement number one. All right, team. Movement number one, we have a reverse lunge to a bicep curl, all right? A little two for one action with a lower body and upper body split. So we're gonna come to the top of our workout space here. We're gonna take one leg. We're gonna take that one leg, we're gonna send it back into our reverse lunge, drop that rear knee down, elbows pinned close to our sides here, come up to our bicep curl, control that movement on the way down, and then we're standing up nice and strong up into our standing position. All right, team. Reverse lunge once again, drop that rear knee down, up into our bicep curl, control that weight, and then we're standing right back up. All right, team. Once again, reverse lunge, bicep curl, back to standing position. That's gonna be movement number one. As we keep with a dumbbell position, we are looking at a single leg dumbbell row. All right, team. So now I have two options for us available, two options for us here today, all right? We're gonna take that staggered stance, once again, that split stance. We're gonna come down, we can either place our hand on our knee, really looking at that nice straight line from our neck all the way down to the back of our leg here with that row. So we're gonna focus on 20 seconds with each row. We can go 20 seconds with our left, switch, 20 seconds with our right. Or if we'd like to scale up here, let's go ahead and take a single leg stance we're gonna pivot off of one stance. One leg is going to extend back to the back of the room here. Find that counterbalance. We're gonna bring that back down again, keeping our core nice and tight and keeping our hips square to the floor. From here, we're gonna row up, tucking in that elbow close to our torso here. Control that weight on the way down and right back up. So with that leg, that rear leg extended out and up, that's really gonna put a lot of activation on your grounded leg, glute and quad and really force you to stabilize into that balancing position. All right, team? So that's gonna be movement number two. Again, 20 seconds of work on each leg. All right, moving on to movement number three. We're gonna come back up with a pair of dumbbells here. We're gonna go into a static lunge. So back into a lunge position, drop that rear knee down. From here, our dumbbells are front loaded into an overhead press position. We're gonna work on a shoulder press right here. So into our static lunge, pressing up, nice full extension, control that weight on the way up, 
and on the way down, all right? Nice full extension. We're gonna aim for three to five reps. We're gonna stand up and alternate legs into that static lunge position. Drop down with that front rack position and then we are back up into that shoulder press. Really engaging our lower body with that hold and then pressing up, isolating our shoulders into that overhead press. All right, team, that's gonna be movement number three. Dropping the weight here, we're looking at movement number four, which is all about core stability, balance, and control. We're gonna come down onto the floor here. We're gonna go into a four point hold. So with this, our hands are gonna be stacked underneath our shoulders, just like a high plank position. Our knees are gonna be stacked underneath our hips. From here, we're gonna elevate those knees, feet shoulder width apart, into that four point stance. All right, team, we're gonna progress. This is gonna be our home base. This is gonna be our foundation movement throughout all four rounds, okay? From here, we're gonna elevate and progress through each round. Now, you can either stay at that four point stance or you can progress along with myself as we go through the four different movements, all right, team? So, four point hold and with the progression, I can show you the progressions right now. So. Round number one, four point hold. Round number two, we're gonna add in a shoulder tap. So, four point stance, again, home base right here. If this is where we're at, this is where we're at. Round two, we're gonna add in alternating shoulder taps, alternate hand to alternate shoulder. From there, we'll go into round number three, which would be leg extensions. Again, back into our home base right here. We'll go into a nice full leg extension for round three, all right? And round number four, to really final, finalize and challenge us out here, really kind of cap us off if we're here at this level for today, we're gonna go into alternate, alternate limb extensions. So alternate hand to alternate leg reaches, okay? So again, back into that four point stance, alternate hand, come back, and really focus on challenging yourself, keeping your core nice and tight as we focus on our shoulders staying square to the floor, our hips square to the floor, and a nice flat back. All right, team, that's gonna be the four movements that we have for today. So, <clears throat> go ahead and uh, grab that towel, grab that water. Again, uh, I have my notes up as well, so go ahead and leave me a comment if you have any questions, if you have any modifications that you'd like to see, uh, go ahead and leave those as well. All right, team. <clears throat> Jerome, good morning from Colorado Springs. All right, happy to see you here. Again, uh, challenge yourself today. This is all about challenging yourself, but in a fun and safe way. So really think about engaging that as well. All right, Jan, thank you for watching as well. All right, um, as we get started, we'll jump into our dynamic stretching and then we'll go ahead and set that timer and get that workout ready to roll. All right, team. So as we're thinking about grabbing that water, grabbing that towel, let's go ahead and think about priming our bodies as well, right? We want a nice warm body to start before we jump into our workout. So let's start off with a few different movements here. Again, about 30 seconds on each of these dynamic stretches just to get our bodies ready to work, ready to work. So get our bodies warmed up. So let's start off with a dynamic quad stretch. We're gonna take that right leg, we're gonna extend it back up to our hips here, and then we're gonna send that left arm up into the sky here, all right? Really think about pushing your hips forward, feeling that isolation in your hip flexor as you bring that rear foot back to your glutes here and that upper arm is extended all the way up into the ceiling, all right? Go ahead and switch arms and legs as quickly or as slowly as you would like. Again, every body is different, so this is a great time to kind of feel out where you are today, feel, feel out where you are with your body where you may be tight. Again, pushing those hips forward, engaging our glutes here. Nice deep breaths in and exhale. As we release, last one here. All right, team, let's take a nice wide stance here, okay? We're gonna shift our weights over, shift over to the left and to the right with a lateral lunge stretch. You're gonna feel this in the inside of your thigh here, as well as warming up our quads our glutes, again, our hips. If we've been seated for a long period of time, this is a great movement to really engage our hips, engage our lower body. You can go as fast or as slow as you may need as you shift your weight over to the left and to the right. 
make sure we're pushing our hips back, keeping our chest up as well. You can feel that stretch again, inner thigh here. Good, last five seconds here, then we'll go ahead and switch it to a reverse lunge. Out in three, two, one. All right, team, top of your workout space here. We're gonna go ahead and send one leg back, reaching over and across to the other side. So reverse lunge, since we do have some reverse lunges for us in work today. Drop that rear knee down, right hand comes up and reaches over to our left. You can feel that stretch in your back, in your lats, shoulders. Again, left leg goes back. Left arm comes up and reaches over to our right. Good, so really sit back into that reverse lunge. Again, with these, you can go as fast or as slow as you need. All right, team. Good, again, opening up those hips. Get some blood flowing to our lower body. And last rep here to finish us out. All right, team. YTWs here to finish out our dynamic stretches. So a little bit of upper body work here, all right? So we're gonna go into a nice strong stance here. Home is gonna be right here. I'm gonna reach overhead, up into that Y, into that T, and then into that W, all right? So with that Y, hands together, we're gonna go up into a big Y formation, right? Really squeezing our shoulder blades together. From here, back to center, we go into that T formation, right? Thumbs facing the back of the room here. Out of that, I'm gonna go into a big W. Nice, strong W here, really showing off our biceps, big Y here. Again, mobility work here with our shoulders, with our upper body, bringing those shoulder blades together. Big T position, thumbs facing the back of the room. Squeezing and a big W. Nice, proud chest. Again, can feel that warmed up in our anterior delts, the front of our shoulders here. Last rep here, big Y, good. Big T, inhale, nice deep breath. Exhale as you come back to center and a big W to finish us out with a smile. All right, team, as we uh, get things together here, find that water, find that towel, I'm gonna go ahead and set my timer and then we will be off to the races with, again, movement number one. We have a reverse lunge with the bicep curl. Movement number two, we have a single leg dumbbell row. That's gonna be 20 seconds on each arm, all right team? Movement number three is gonna be a static lunge where we sit into that nice low static lunge with an overhead press, right? Shoulder activation as well. And movement number four, we're gonna start off with a four point hold, all right team? Those are gonna be the four movements that we have for today, all right? We're gonna get started with my timer here. We have 10 seconds here until we get started. Eight, seven seconds here, so find your workout space, find those weights here, in three, two, one. All right, team, 40 seconds on the clock. Reverse lunge with the bicep curl. Good, nice strong position here, right? Drop that rear knee down, bicep curl, nice and strong at the bottom of the movement, and then we're back to standing position, right? Why at the bottom of the movement? Well, we're forcing us to stabilize, we're forcing us to balance, engaging our core into that low lunge, reverse lunge, and then Adding in that bicep curl. Last 10 seconds here. Good. Last five, three, two, good job. All right, team, find that recovery here for 20 seconds, dropping down to one dumbbell here. We have a single leg dumbbell row. Again, our options here, we can split into that row or we can go off into a progression here. Five seconds of recovery, and we will jump into our work. All right, team, 40 seconds on the clock. Let's get started here. I'm gonna go ahead and go with our first round, hand on my knee here, squeezing at the top, right? Squeezing at the top. If your weight's a little light, go ahead and pulse at the top. Give yourself that one second, two second, three second pause, and then you're right back down, right? Keeping that head nice and straight here. All right, 20 seconds in, let's go ahead and switch legs, switch arms into our left side, if you will, for me. Again, squeezing at the top here, feeling that lat working and activating, coming down to the lower end of our phase here. Out in three, two, one, good. Recover here. 
All right, find that second dumbbell. Reverse lunge, I'm sorry, static lunge into a shoulder press, team. All right, static lunge into a shoulder press. And that space here. Drop that rear right knee down into your static lunge. All right, static lunge here, from here. Extend up into that shoulder press, right? Ideally, our knees are at a 90 degree bend. Three to five reps. Go ahead and stand back up to standing position. Drop down, reverse lunge. I'm sorry, static lunge into that shoulder press. Four for me. One more, good. Right back up, opposite side. Finish this out here, 10 seconds. Good, focus on our breathing as well. Dig deep into that static lunge. Out in three, two, one, and time. Good job. All right, as we work through our recovery, remember that four point hold for round number one. We're gonna get down on the floor here into that four point hold. All right, five seconds here. Again, three, two, hands are stacked underneath our shoulder, knees are stacked underneath our hips, and it's working time. So we wanna go ahead and elevate those knees. Again, our feet are shoulder width apart, and we are looking down at our fingertips. All right, keeping our core nice and tight, a nice flat back. Again, hips square to the floor here. All right, may seem like a bit of a static movement here, but we are engaging a lot of muscle, targeted muscle areas here in this one movement. Good, hold with us, last 10 seconds. Good, out in seven. Last five. Out in three, two, one, good job. All right, team, way to stay with us, all right? We have 40, this is where we get to have our 60 seconds worth of rest here. This is our six seconds worth of rest. So this is where we get a chance to really reset our mind, reset our bodies. Those are the four movements. So we have 30 seconds of rest here. All right. Grab that towel again. Grab that water. Focus in here. Ooh, round number one is in the books. <laughs> um, so 15 seconds here, reverse lunge with a bicep curl. All right. Think about it. scaling up in weight. All right, team. Think about scaling up in weight. This is a chance to focus on different parts. Focus on scaling up. All right, team. Here we go. Reverse lunge with a bicep curl. Coming up in three, two, one. All right, team. Reverse lunge here. Drop down. Bicep curl. Drive back up to standing position. Good. All right. Again. Moving at our own pace. Wherever our fitness level may be today, let's go ahead and move at that pace, right? If we need to scale back a little bit, go into that split, reverse lunge, right? Up top, split, reverse lunge. Last, coming down to the last, less than 10. Good. Out in three, two, one, and you're out, team. All right, 20 seconds to recover here. Reverse single leg with a dumbbell row, all right? Single leg with a dumbbell row. <laughs> all right, team. 10 seconds here, back on that recovery. Single leg, this set, I'm gonna go ahead and elevate the rear leg here. Up in two, one. Here we go, team. Right leg back, we're extended out with that left arm, squeezing at the top here. Good, again, 20 seconds on each leg. Work you through 20 seconds. Nice controlled movements. Again, you can feel a lot of activation on that grounded leg. All right, go ahead and switch legs to the left and to the right, or right or to the left. Good. If you need a little bit of a support here, go ahead and touch that toe onto the floor. Just ever so slightly, you can really feel that same activation on that grounded leg. All right, team, there we go. Moving on to shoulder presses here. All right, again, sticking with my dumbbells. Resistance training right here. BeFit Nation, stay with us. All right, here we go. Three, two, 
One, dropping that rear knee down, static lunge. Good. Go three to five reps here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and switch. Good. Again, rear knee drops down, front knee stays nice and strong. Good, work through it here. Again, nice shoulder isolation here. Core is nice and tight. Exhaling as you press up. Less than five. Out in three, two, one. All right, team, 20 seconds to recover here. Good job. Again, working with that core strength and stability here, we're looking at that four point hold progression. So if you're at round number one, stick with that four point hold if we have to, all right? Five seconds here. We're gonna go ahead into shoulder taps out of that four point stance. Three, and we are up. 40 seconds on the clock. From here, alternate hand meets alternate shoulder, right? Keeping our Keeping our hips square to the floor here. Again, nice flat back. Going at our own pace here. There we go, work through it. Be Fit Nation, stay with me. If you're at that hold, go ahead and hold that four point. Last eight seconds, and we're gonna go into 60 seconds of rest. Out in three, two, one. Good job, 60 seconds here to recover. All right, team, 60 seconds here to recover. Good work, good work. Again, hydration is key here with that hydration. Don't mind if I do. All right, team, let's come to the front here. All right, Terrence, glad to see you in the chat here. Glad to see you joining. Good work, good work. Be Fit Nation, stay with us. Jen, nice to see you joining our BFIT Live program workouts. Again, this is the time to really focus on ourselves, really focus on our strength, our development here. 15 seconds to recover here. Reverse lunge with a bicep curl, coming up in 10 seconds. Reverse lunge, bicep curl. We are up in five, out in three, up in two, up in one, 40 on the clock here. Reverse lunge, there we go, good. Driving up to standing. Dropping down. Good. There we go. 27 here. Again, let's go at our own pace here, right? But challenge yourself, right? Challenge yourself here. If it doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you. Good. Good job, almost there here. Drop down, nice strong bicep curl. Keeping those elbows pinned close to our torso. Good, five seconds, and we'll go into that 20 second of rest. Three, two, one, good. 20 seconds here to recover. Drop into one bell. All right, 13 here. Your row of choice, either elevated on that rear foot or not. Five seconds here, 40 seconds of work. Coming up in three, two, one. All right, team, 40 on the clock. Good. Make sure and ground that left foot. Really balance and stabilize. Seven seconds here, we'll switch legs. Out in three, two, switch legs here. Go ahead and take that weight over to the other side. Ground that foot. Again, you always want a soft bend at your knee as well. Your head is looking down, right? Want that spinal alignment, hips square to the floor. Last five seconds of work. Out in three, two, one, and time. Good job, what to finish this out here. What to finish out this set. <laughs> 13 seconds here. All right, so you find that weight here. Static lunge with an overhead press coming up in five seconds. 40 on the clock in three, two, one. 40 on the clock, dropping that rear knee down. There we go. Good. Go with five reps for me. Good, keeping it front racked. Dropping that rear knee down in that static lunge. Hold, 
Get a lot of blood flow. Moving into that lower body with that hold. Good. 15 and out. Feeling those quads working here. Glutes are activated. Core is nice and tight. Nice overhead press. Finishes out last five seconds. Out in three, two, one. Good job. 20 seconds to recover here. Ooh. All right, team. Tell me that one's not burning. That is burning us for today. All right, 40 seconds here. We go 10 seconds here. Jumping into that 40 of work. Four point hold. This time, leg extensions. Coming up in five. In three, two, one. 40 on the clock here. Good, four point hold. If we're here, let's stay here. If we can scale up, let's go back to that leg extension. Good, your head is still looking down at your fingertips. Keeping that back nice and flat. Knees are elevated, about six inches. Good, 15 and out. Control, shoulder width apart, your hands and your feet. Last eight seconds here. Out in five, 60 seconds of rest. And two, one. All right, team. <laughs> Good job. Ooh, catching our breath here. Stand up nice and tall. Again, grab that water, grab that hydration, walk it around, shake it out, moving through our rounds. All right, team. Good job. Stay with us here. Again, that was the third round, BFIT Nation. If you're just joining us, we're going through four different strength movements to really help challenge us, right? Really help engage in our strength as I catch my breath. Really developing our form 15, 20 seconds here till we get started. Really focusing on that strength, that buildup, that endurance, right? Muscular development, control as well. Good, finding us here, five, 10 seconds here. Good job, team. Stay with us. Up in five, three, two, one. 40 on the clock here. Reverse lunge with a bicep curl. Good. Last and final round, team. Let's make it our best round. Last round, best round. That's what we like to say, BFIT Nation. Good, again, with resistance. Nice controlled movements here. Good job. Good work. All right, 13 and out for this last and final round four. Five seconds here, BFit Nation. Three, two, one. All right, team, 20 seconds of rest here. 20 seconds to recover. Dropping to one bell here. All right, team, this one's for you. Five seconds here, my left foot is down, my right arm is about to start in two, one. Here we go, 40 on the clock. Again, find that balance, find that control, keep that core nice and tight, our hips square to the floor. We need to drop that rear knee down, or rear foot. Let's go ahead and touch that toe on the floor. We need to take that stance. Good, 20 seconds here. Let's go ahead and switch arms, switch legs. Good, find that balance. Again, engage our core. Our gaze is looking a few feet in front of us for that nice spinal alignment here. Out in two, one, good job. Way to finish that one, 20 seconds here. All right, static lunge with the shoulder press coming up. Last and final time, we are doing this movement for today, unless you double up on BFIT last. Five seconds here, up in 40. Three, two, one. 40 on the clock here, dropping down. Control your movements here. Engage that lower body. Good. Five for me, back up to standing. Static lunge, drop that rear knee down. Hold that lunge position. Good. Don't forget to smile as well. I know we're working hard. Good, 10 seconds here. Finish this out. 
Good, add in five. Last three, two, one, recover. Good job. All right, team. Four point hold. That's gonna be our home base. Remember from here, alternate hand to alternate leg. Eight seconds till we go live. All right, five seconds and we are up. Three, two, one. Last and final movement here, team. Four point hold. Here's where we get a little challenging here. Nice tight core. Good. Good, again, try to keep those hips square to the floor. Press those grounded limbs together to help with balance. Good, shoulder taps are just as fine. Leg extensions, just as good. 13 seconds, finish this out. Good. Make sure and breathe. Last five, add in three, two, one. <laughs> All right, team, as we come back up, as we grab that towel, grab that water, good work, team, good work. Again, not an easy one today as I stand up, catching my breath. Good work, BeFit Nation. Again, nice, challenging workout that we had for today, right? It was all about control, all about pushing the amount of weight that we chose to challenge ourselves, but also getting enough effort that we felt comfortable with, right? Giving that effort, that's all we ask for here at our BeFit Live program workouts. Just giving us a little bit of your effort can go a long way with building up that resiliency that can take you day in or day out, team. All right, as I come up closer here. Good work, team, good work. Make sure and cool down. Again, this is a great time to really focus on stretching, right? Cooling down, hydrating. Hydration is key here, team. All right, good job, good job. So again, with our Exchange BeFit Live programs, this is where we get to focus on ourselves, right team? This is where we get to focus on ourselves, not only in the gym, not only in our workouts, but also outside of here. A lot of these movements can be transitioned to our daily active lifestyles, right team? To supplement our workouts here, find our Exchange Express stores where we have healthier choice items, right? Surf through those smart snacking options where we have labeled each healthier choice snacking options available for you at our exchange restaurants. If you are at our exchange mall areas, right? Look for those wellness services that you can surf through, right? To really focus on the inside out, right? Focus on our wellness as well as our nutrition team. Keeping with our nutrition, look for our exchange restaurants, more than 1,700 restaurants that we have available to you. Right, that you can surf through our menu items and look for those better for you options, right? Better for you food options. And as well as our exchange stores, right? Look at our in-store line and our on-store, in-store and online catalog, right team? Anything that you may need from athletic apparel to footwear, fitness trackers, sporting goods, uh, whether it's bikes or workout equipment as well as dumbbells that you may need to join in on our BFIT Live programs, go ahead and grab that at our exchange stores and online as well. So any more additional information, go ahead and visit shopmyexchange.com forward slash BeFit where you can find that gear, that nutrition, additional workout videos and um, gear as well. So again, we have those options available to you, but great work today, BeFit Nation. All right, way to put in the effort, way to put in the sweat. All right, uh, everyone that joined in today, I saw you. Again, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the notes below and we will go ahead and uh, I or someone will go ahead and respond with those as well, all right team? But have a great start to your Monday, all right? Have a great rest of your week. Way to show up today, all right, BeFit Nation. Again, way to stay ready, way to stay resilient and way to stay fit with our BeFit Nation team. All right, until next Wednesday. Next week will be on a Wednesday at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. We will see you then, all right team? See you.